Hello everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin crypto analysis video. Today we will talk about Cherio. This is a token that started its public sale a few days ago or public pre-sale a few days ago and there's still six days left as you can see here from their website and today we'll talk a little bit about what is this coin, what's their main objective, pros and cons and maybe you'll have a better idea if you should invest in it or not. So let's just jump straight into the presentation. First of all, a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I am not a I am not registered to provide financial advice. This video reflects only my personal opinion. You should always do your own due diligence before investing. You should only invest what you're willing to lose. So Cherio, a blockchain solution for charitable donations. So what is Cherio? So they're a, a blockchain platform for charities and people who want to create charitable events through this platform. The big positive side, again, with blockchain is that is the transactions are very fast, secure. You can track the transactions. So this is a big differential that they're trying to bring into this market. So here there's a quote from their own white paper. What the team says, they, it says, we want to use the latest technology to optimize their operation on all levels and reinforce the trust that people have in them. So moving on to the next point is because lately the public has been losing over the years their trust on charities or charita charitable events and charities and nonprofit organizations around the world because there have been a number of different scandals involving how those charities are using their money and corruption in other countries and third world countries using the money that have been donated and then people have just stopped slowly stopped donating to certain companies organizations just because they lost the trust in those companies and nowadays also there's a high cost of upkeep so there are numbers that talk about that 60 percent of the money that you donate actually end up going to uh, upkeep costs for the organization and not straight into charity which is reasonable because if you want the non-profit organization to keep working you also have to maintain the salaries and other costs and what they're trying to do is restore this trust on charities by increasing transparency of transactions and money flow when we're talking about donations and and charitable events let's talk a little bit about the token information so they're generating a total of 200 million tokens they're called uh, chr tokens the pre-sale and public sale all together will will have a a total of 60% of tokens being sold. The, their soft cap is 3,750 Ethereum with a hard cap of 15,000 Ethereum. And the token distribution will take place up until 15 days after the ICO ends. So let's move on to the pros of Cherio. So Cherio is trying to bring more transparency to this huge market. This number is from their own white paper but I did some research and this number it seems about right that in 2017 there were 30 billion dollars donated via the internet that, that's just the internet so this is a huge number just just think about it if if this was the only number it would be extremely large but this is not this is just a small portion of donations um, some sources uh, say that the, all of the philanthropy market is estimated that they move around two trillion dollars every year, which is huge, huge. So the Cherio company or the Cherio platform is trying to get into this market with huge potential for just for for good and for a little bit of profit as well for people who want to invest in the coin and also want to do the right thing out there. The team has relevant software development experience. So if you read through the white paper, they have two page, two, three pages with their team. And you can see that almost everyone has some experience regarding 
software development, which is good for this. It's really good for developing a platform on the blockchain. This is very, it, it makes sure that the team is always up to updated with what's going on and what's the best for the platform regarding software development. So this is a big pro here. Cherio is trying to gamify charitable actions by implementing rewards in different levels. So their main idea is that you have tokens, for example, and the individuals that have tokens, they call it Cherions um, through their white paper. So let's say you're a Cherion, you're a person that holds their token and are, is, is act actively is active in the community, in the Cherio community. You can go on and create a an event for donation for example oh, there's this poor community next to where i live and they need ten thousand dollars or whatever number of cherio tokens uh, one million tokens let's say to build a new school so you you set the target and then people can start donating and then if the if 10 percent of the target is reached the event is considered successful so the money will go to the money will go to those people and if you reach above 60 percent uh, you get your feedback so this fee is every time you create an event and other people can also help you create an event they have what they're, they're talking about they have to lock some tokens they have to put in some of their own tokens as as a way of saying, okay, I, I really want to create this event. Here are, here's some money just to make sure that I'm not just creating uh, bullshit events. And and if you reach 60% of your target, you get 100% of your feedback. If you get reach 100% of your target, you get 100% of your feedback plus some reward. So if you actually reach your target, you're getting even some more tokens or, or Ethereum whatever you want at well you get tokens but then you can translate that into ethereum money or just keep using it in the platform so this just makes it more like a game like they say they want to gamify and then everyone who's donating depending on how much they donate they go through different levels and depending on a certain level you can donate more and you can lock more tokens so they're just trying to make this an actual game and not just an experience where you donate money and that's it your donating money is more transparent and and now you can have a little bit of uh, satisfaction by donating and keeping track of how much you're donating all these rewards are reset every month so in the white paper they talk about it in detail so let's say you're a level two and you're halfway through and you are halfway through to level three if you reach the end of the month you are reset to the beginning of level two and now reset to zero and if someone has been inactive for a long time the community the creators will try to make sure that you start being active again and cr make the community just working together and the last one is that cherio has a fairly big following on telegram is right now it's over seventeen thousand people which is a a pretty good number for uh, the type of platform that they have compared to other platforms that I will talk about now because I'm, it's part of the con. So the first con is that there are lots of competitors, uh, lots in the sense that some of them are already in the market and have been for a while. So there's eight coin, pink coin, and impact coin this impact coin is still not out so you, you will not find on coin market cap eight coin has been out since january 2018 and pink coin has been out since 2014 so this one is the more let's say established one obviously they all have different uh, objectives they're not exactly the same impact coin is related to donations related to everything that have a social impact. So it can be um, charitable impact. So you need money to, for example, clean a beach or clean a forest or something like that. It will have an environmental impact. So you 
this is what their platform is trying to do second one related to what i talked about some of these competitors are more established for example pink coin that has been in the market for four years already and here is a con because if people just don't read the small letters let's say if they like a lot of people do they just see okay it's charitable it's not charitable um or their competitors are not again they are competitors in a sense but at the same time they're not competitors so because they're not 100 percent the same company they don't have 100 percent the same objective Terio, for example is trying to gamify things this is their this is their differential compared to all these coins so i'm just saying here that a lot of people might see all these coins as competitors if they don't make their own research and realize what is each coin doing differently and which one may be at the top in the end the third one is that the team lacks philanthropic experience with a small exception of one of the co-founders because uh, if you look through the white paper the first co-founder on the list says that for the past four or five years he has been involved with children in africa he's been godfather to them so there it's a small experience but again if you read through all their descriptions none of them have actually worked for a non-profit organization this can be worrying because if you're trying to create a company but no one in your team has ever worked in that market maybe there are details that you might miss Again, their idea, it looks really cool. They explain it with detail in the white paper. But this experience, maybe they can bring later, obviously. It's not that the team is it's closed now. No one else will join the team. So that's something just to keep in mind now. They're still developing the coin. So obviously, they, they'll eventually bring people that have more experience. But this is just, as of now, 2018, uh, public public pre-sale this is what's going on and then lastly as we talked about with the pros because they're trying to gamify and make this a different thing make this more a community thing on the other side because they have those rewards for people who reach a hundred percent of their target there could be i'm not saying this is what's going to happen but some people might see this as an opportunity so instead of creating uh, an event a charitable event with a target of let's say one million dollars or however much cherio coins they create it with ten thousand dollars because they're sure that they're going to reach that target and then they'll get a reward so people might see this just as a money-making opportunity what was not clear to me maybe someone out there can give me that information is that is if you can reach above 100% of your target. So if you set it to 10,000, if you can reach more than 10,000, then that's okay. But again, people will just, I feel like people have this incentive to create small targets to gain these rewards and not the other way around. So maybe the team could review the rewards as if you create a big target, then the reward is bigger. Maybe it is like that, but it wasn't clear in the white paper. So that's that's just a con, but again, it's easily fixed. It's not a big con. So let me know if you like this ICO review, if you like this coin or not, if there are any other pros, cons that I didn't mention, or if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.